let us move towards the next section attribution attribution to modern warming so if i take you towards this section it is 1.6 and they've given you the reasons for warming which is both greenhouse and other natural uh, planetary uh, reasons or impact let us go into those details so few of them which we are going to be talking about so we have explicitly talked about greenhouse till now but apart from that there are there can be other reasons for increasing the carbon dioxide and we'll analyze each one of them and see whether this reason is possible or not so tectonic process output of the sun or orbital variation and unforced variability let us go into the details first one the tectonic processes so when the earth plates are moving because we we know that historically continents were not in the same shape as we see today there have been movements of continent okay the earth plate will keep on moving so when they move it has an impact on the atmosphere also which can increase ice sheet on a certain area so if you read that content the movement of continent towards pole can lead to growth in the ice sheet in th those area so if more and more continent move towards uh, the north pole or south pole the ice is going to increase when the, and what ice has is a very important factor which is reflective so whenever a sunlight is thrown on ice it, it reflects but whenever a, a, a sunlight is thrown on ocean it absorbs why because ice is light in color okay and because of because of the reflective nature okay what we see more and more ice is reflected back into space which ideally should tend to cool the climate okay we don't see this happening for the last 200 300 years a change in the continent plate that drastically so we can rule out this first reason of tectonic process even though this does not contribute to the uh, heating it it actually cools down it has a cooling effect but still we cannot have a very strong evidence of this happening in the last 2 3 centuries the second and very uh, strong uh, point is the output of the sun suppose if sun the sun is giving us heat in terms of the uh, sun rays but if suppose sun emits huge amount of heat towards us which can lead to more warming so is it is is our increase in temperature happening because of the output increase in that uh, increase of the sun okay so even a slightest change in the sun's emission can have a huge impact in terms of the infrared ray, uh, infrared radiation that we are getting but what we have seen that for the past hundreds and hundreds of years we have not been able to see change in the emission of the sun sun rays by the sun and hence we can easily eliminate this as one of the cause of the modern global warming the third reason is the orbit of the earth we know that earth is orbiting sun and it has a specific trajectory if suppose there is a slight tilt in the trajectory change in the way earth is following the sun it can have a drastic impact on the earth so okay so the when we talk about orbital variation we are talking about two things first the shape of the orbit is it exactly circle or is it oval the orbit that is that the earth is taking uh, on the sun so when we are talking about orbital variation the first discussion point is what is the shape of the orbit second is the tilt of the orbit because earth does not uh, uh, does not revolve in in a straight fashion it is slightly tilted and then it is it revolves and why are we talking about this point is that we are we are asking a question is the increase in temperature because of the uh, change in the shape or is it because of the change in the tilt of the earth so we are trying to analyze that so this is also third reason we don't see that change in shape or change in tilt happening for over a centuries so we we also reject this proposal that this can cause of climate impact the next is unforeseen variability till now whatever tectonic output of the sun and all of that we have seen all of them are because of the impact from the planetary element or the energy okay so it is not something which is within the earth atmosphere it is ha happening something outside the sun's impact and all right so over here when we talk about unforeseen variability what they are trying to tell you is that earth's climate is very complex and if suppose there is a change in the climate of the earth and because of which the temperature is now gradually increasing so can we say that 
that okay this is one of the reason for the carbon dioxide or this is one of the reason for the carbon dioxide improvement or increase and temperature increase now over here they have given you an example of el nino okay which is directly related to the warming part uh, in the next slide i'll be talking more into detail about this which talks and they have talked about southern oscillation oscillation means a change in the temperature warming and slightly cold okay so this is not done by any human this is very very uh, specific to the uh, the complex engineering of the atmosphere of the earth okay that is why we are we are explicitly talking about unforced nobody is involved into it but because of that there is a variability or change that is happening okay now why we are not and we are we are saying that uh, whatever increase in the temperature or increase in the carbon dioxide that we see it is coming because of the unforced variability why because first of all there is no strong theory to explain the ch change happening for the last 200 100 years or we cannot just say because of the unforced variability for the last only for the last 100 years the temperature has gone up or the warming has happened that is the first reason very very important second okay when we look at the past millennium data that means past 100 years data the rate and the magnitude in which the change is happening the temperature is increasing okay we are we are not having any logical answer to explain why only the change is happening now and why the rate rate is so high we do not have any logical answer to it next point is computer simulation whenever we do because for analyzing models and all we do do computer simulation all of this is not going to we support uh, does not support that idea and hence we reject the unforced uh, variability as a reason the last is uh, we, oh, sorry we are going moving towards the example of uh, el nino and uh, la nina so if you look at this diagram they have taken the africa as a continent and there is a equator and look at this section okay and they have look at the time also from 1997 to 1998 that one year or that particular time frame we saw dry climate that is el nino in that area and if you look at 1999 to 2000 we see a wet climate so the temperature is increasing and decreasing for certain period of time and into a specific area so when we talk about el nino and southern oscillation cycle it is into three parts one is el nino second is la nina and third is neutral neutral means there is no change no impact okay so when we talk about el nino it is more dry okay or primarily dry means more warmer as compared to the average temperature if you look at la nina it is much colder than the average so you have to remember these two pointers if they test you in the exam this is not directly there in the uh, book but it has some some connection to the concept which has been discussed so please remember the point el nino means higher temperature than the average we on uh, an average we face in that particular area and la nina means lesser temperature than the on an average temperature that we face in that area now how does it impact you or me it basically impacts the it changes the weather pattern it changes precipitation changes the rainfall and because of which your social activities like for example fisheries agriculture it will also get impact so this is slight uh, extra information that i wanted to share with you with respect to the el il nino uh, southern oscillation part the last section is the uh, reason why we are we are trying to analyze what is the reason for uh, increase in the temperature so natural uh, one of the when we are talking about the natural process we realize that all the natural processes like tectonic output of the sun orbit of the earth and unforced none of them gives a very strong evidence the last and the final one which we know is greenhouse gas which is uh, in, which is impacting us and which is also very logical because the law of physics this is an important point huh? the law of physics also tells us that if we add more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere the more infrared radiation will get captured and more heating is going to happen so logically also greenhouse gas theory supports okay and we know that humans have been burning fossil fuel we have been using petrol oil and which is adding carbon dioxide into the atmosphere so that is also common knowledge and the timing is also matching timing in the sense the increase in the use of, con of fossil fuel consumption and the warming both of them are happening in the 19th century itself that means from 1900 onwards and so this is also one of the correlated point which can help us to understand 
that greenhouse gases are the reason for the in increase in temperature also geological records show that changes in the climate are frequently associated with the greenhouse gas this is just an additional point but over here in this entire section the intention is to make sure to help you understand that there are no natural reasons for the increase in the temperature increase in the carbon dioxide it's primarily the greenhouse gas okay let us have a quick summary of the attribution now attribution of modern warming what does this logic means attribution that we are trying to find the reason for the modern warming or the increase in the temperature what what causes can we attribute to so if you look at this and over here this point is also important i am going to mark this as star look at this statement which is being made at the sixth assessment report of the intergovernmental panel of uh, climate change that is ipcc okay and when they came out with the report they explicitly mentioned something and i would i'm going to read that now it is extremely likely okay and i have explicitly highlighted few sections it is extremely likely that half, more than half of the observed increase obs more than half of the observed increase in the global average surface temperature from 1951 to 2010 was co was caused by the anthrop anthropogenic what is anthropogenic humans so we are the contributor of that and when they are making this statement they are talking extremely likely the word extremely likely means that we are 95% confident we are not 100% sure based on our analysis and research when we use the word extremely likely this is more statistical perspective that we have a high chance or high uh, confidence but not 100% okay also what if you look at the second statement which is they have specified the time 1951 to 2010 why see the warming was also happening before it but we do not have statistical evidence to prove that it was only because of human okay so it cannot be proven to to a high standard that we cannot prove it with very high accuracy that this is before 1951 the warming was only and only because of human okay lastly they are saying more than half okay when we use the word more than half in our statement we are saying we, we are saying it not entire 100% is because of human but majority of them is happening because of the human reason so that is also being covered over here and the summary of the attribution so i'm just taking a quick pause so we have covered the attribution of modern warming the orbital part the output part the tectonic process we just covered okay unforeseen variability we also talked about and the glow greenhouse gas we also talked about also we just covered the summary statement of the attribution which means uh, we we explicitly highlight the likely range okay and we are not 100% sure all of that the final statement when they they made made it a point that extremely likely and from a this period to this period we see the warming is happening okay we're going to be moving next towards the shared service the shared socio economic pathway but before moving to that let us have quick questions on this topic that we just covered what is unforced variability of climate change unforced something which is happening because of the internal dynamics of the atmosphere okay is it happening because of the planetary no not from the output of the sun or the orbit no it is not because of the planetary imbalance straightforward wrong now greenhouse gas straightforward wrong okay the climate change caused by the change in the earth orbit this is not, this is wrong because this is not the shape or the tilt that we are talking about this is not the planetary energy part so your answer has to be b because of the complex internal physics right let us go to the next section what is the conclusion of the intergovernmental panel on climate change and when they are making the statement and they made a statement and they came out with the conclusion that very high, highly likely that the increase in temperature which that we see is because of the human activity if you look at all the statement now over here in the statement the starting itself we get some clue there is no evidence to support the hypothesis that greenhouse is very wrong because they made a statement so you have some reason to talk about greenhouse gas there is some evidence to support no human influence on the climate is negligible this is straight away wrong we know about this the last point okay the answer to this question is c because it is in in you unequivocal that the human influence has warmed the atmosphere ocean and because of which the temperature is changing fast okay so all of this 
should connect back to your third uh, statement or the third option so we can talk about this section which is the answer number uh, the c part the c answer and we can read this section also one second so the answer for the last question was c let us move towards the next question why do scientists believe that greenhouse are responsible for modern warming because of energy planet imbalance no change in the earth orbit no is it because of the internal physics this is unforced variability so answer has to be d because of the law of physics because we explicitly mentioned that we know that if the carbon dioxide is going to increase it will increase the temperature and because of the human activity consumption of the fossil 